Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Amongst these trees and this rock, or rocks, more than one, there's this eerie history right here. Let's get this started. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Out of my city. You guys asked me to go to different places to vlog, and I'm in the city of Daly City. Well, the borderline of Daly City, San Francisco. I'm in the West Lake neighborhood because 157 years ago, right in this very spot that I'm standing, there was a famous duel between two California senators. And I guarantee you guys didn't even know this was the spot. And this little, this little thing is here. Let's go check this out. Right here is a little monument to commemorate what happened between two US senators, David Colbreth Brock and David Smith Terry. Back in 1859, these two US sen senators had an argument. They had a dispute. They didn't agree with what they, whatever they were arguing about, and they wanted to duel it out. And back then, dueling was to death. You can see the signs right here. Duel site of Broderick Terry, September 13th, 1859. And the scary thing about that 1859 sign, or that September 13th, 1859, that's the day Two, three days before David Broderick passed away. He died from his injuries because of the duel. Right here on the back side, you see a little donated by Elo A. Fontana. And nothing else on this side, but just imagine. You see you have people over there walking, walking their dogs. But 159 years ago, these trees were probably still here. Houses were definitely not here. More trees going that way. But this is the dual site between the two California senators because of an argument, a misunderstanding, a disagreement. Kinda kinda creepy. Now quick background of the story. Again, these two were fighting or they had an argument. Um, they came out here, they're both in the Democratic Party and uh, not long after the death of Broderick, they stopped dueling, or, or they, they decided, we're going to stop this duels in the United States. And, you know, if you go back to the old days, they used to duel with swords. They used to do the 10 steps, turn around duels. I'm not sure what kind of duels they did. I don't know if one stood... 100 feet or 20 feet that way and then the other one stood 20 feet this way. The arrow's pointing to the right. So I'm gonna go check over there to see if there's any more areas or any more signs that shows where the, du the other duel was. But yes, this is the site. Again, they both belong to the Democratic Party. Now, the, he the, the, the eerie thing about this area is People still claims to hear the gunshots, the moan of, of Broderick. They still hear that. So this area is pretty much active with, with ghosts. Maybe just one ghost. And I walk down towards where the arrow was pointing and I don't see no other monument or stone or something saying that this is where the site was. I saw this one in loving memory, but it has nothing to do with the duel. Nothing at all. So that's not what I'm looking for. I'll walk back up that way. 
Now just imagine, 1859, you're arguing, probably over something political, probably got into a big dispute over something political. They decided, you're wrong, no, you're wrong. Let's go outside and duel. And back then, dueling was okay. People said, yes, let's duel. And they did. They dueled. They got over here in this site right here in Westlake, Daly City, borderline of San Francisco, right here. And they decided, let's do this like men. Let's see who could take the shot first. And they did. David Broderick died three days after the duel site right here. And how terrible is that? How terrible. And on that ironic twist, David Terry in 1889 was shot by his bodyguard back then. U.S. Justice Stephen J. Field shot him the same way he shot David Broderick. Scary. And I'm standing right here. Right in the area. Right here. Is that a gunshot? Did I just hear a gunshot? Do you hear that gunshot? On June 1st, 1932, this site was registered as California's registered historical landmark number 19. And in 1949, marker 19 was erected, which is that right you see right in front of you, was erected. The trail that leads to the site, the marker was erected by the California Centennial Commission, country of the Board Supervisors of San Mateo. Again, this is kind of scary. You know, this marker right here is the site where Broderick and Terry stood 10 yards apart, 10 yards apart. That's not even that far. That's like right there where the other bench is. And right here. That is scary. Maybe even right, right there, maybe that other stone. Maybe that stone right there is 10 yards. Where this white stone is, this is about 10 yards from where that memorial is. So just imagine. 10 yards apart, you have guns pointed right at each other like this, and then bang. One died, the other one died how many years later? Scary. Scary. Looking at it from this angle, that could look like it's about 10 yards apart. This monument, that white stone, that looks like it's about 10 yards apart. How? Just, again, imagine what it was like. No houses. Those houses were gone. They chose this field. Westlake Park is right over there on that side. So we're on the other side of Westlake Park. Um, and just imagine, they decided to duel right here, and they both knew someone was going to die. And David Broderick... Got the short end of the stick. Quick history on both the guys. David Colbreth Broderick, February 4th, 1820, till his death of September 16th, 1859. Attorney politician elected to the legislature as a Democratic U.S. Senator from California, but he was born in Washington, D.C. And again, after his violent death, he had a hero's burial, hero's funeral, and the fight against slavery, his funeral became one of the most popular demonstrations of public support that San Francisco's ever had. Buried in Lone Mountain. Lone Mountain's over there at the USF campus. I don't know if he's still buried there because if you guys remember my last vlog when I did about the Buena Vista, um, the Buena Vista uh, cemeteries, they moved a lot of those bodies here to, in Daly City and Coma. So, possibility he might not be there anymore. I'm gonna do my research and find out where that is. But we see another little monument over there. 
So we're gonna check that out. So that whole time I was standing in the wrong spot. This is where the dual site is, right here. This is where they both stood. Whoa, this is freakier because now look around you. There's nothing here, nothing, nothing. This is where, let's see if it says who stood here. Whoa, this is where David st uh, Terry stood, right there. He faced this direction where David Broderick was standing, shot 10 yards right here. And this was where Broderick lost his battle. Whoa, this just blew my mind because I was standing in the wrong spot the whole time. How crazy is that? 10 yards right there. This is the sight that David Terry had looking at David Roderick. And there must have been somebody either on this side or on this side that organized everything and said, ready, aim, fire. You have people who pretty much desecrated this area, forgot about their history, graffitied, all this stuff on here, but I'm standing right behind the Broderick stone and looking at the Terry stone over there. This would have been the last thing Terry saw or Broderick saw before Terry fired. And again, that could have been somebody standing there. Somebody standing there saying, ready, aim, fire. That's kind of creepy. I just turned my camera on and my camera turned off. Like literally turned off. And again, I told you, there's been a lot of ghost sightings or ghost stories about this area. Terry standing right there who shot at Broderick right over there. You hear a lot of gunshots. It's kind of creepy. Quick history on Terry. 1823 to 1829, also a Californian, jurist for the Democratic politician, who was the fourth chief, uh, chief justice of the Supreme Court. He's an author of the Constitution of 1879, who also won a duel with U.S. Senator David C. Broderick. Yes, we know he won his duel, killing Broderick in 1859, but then ended up dying himself in 1889. But this... This is creepy. Just sitting here looking at it. This is creepy. Just imagine, I'm David Ter uh, Broderick standing right here and I'm looking at David Terry knowing that one of us is gonna die and whoever had the faster trigger finger or the faster finger to pull the trigger is the one that's gonna survive. And unfortunately, right over there you see David Broderick Stone died three days later after David Terry shot him. Creepy. This area right here is a little more creepier than when I was over there. That stone was a memorial of showing where these two stones are right behind me right here. I saw the arrow. The arrow pointed this direction, but I thought it meant one was standing there while the other... Anyways, this is where it happened, right here, 159 years ago. Is it 157? 157 years ago, 1859, the last duel, the last organized duel, I should say, organized duel in U.S. history happened right here in Daly City. Out of all the cities, it happened right here in Daly City, California, which probably back then was part of San Francisco because these two are two San Franciscan um, politicians. So either that or San Francisco didn't want nothing to do with the duel and they said, hey, go out to Daly City, 
find a nice remote place for you guys to go kill each other. And they did it right here. And again, you see the two stones right behind me. Eerie and creepy. Now imagine you standing right here back then and you're one of the spectators who witnessed this whole thing. Either you were rooting for Terry or you're rooting for Broderick. They both had guns. And again, Terry came out on top. Just think of the suffering that Broderick went through. Probably back then they didn't have all the things they needed to try to keep him alive. But again, in dueling, it's to the death. So these, both these men knew that. Both these men knew that. It's to the death. And one of them, that man over there, or that stone that's commemorating the man over there, David Broderick, lost his life. And for you guys who are San Franciscans, and you guys think, that name Broderick sounds like a street in San It is. It is named after David Broderick. Because, again, he was, after he died, buried in a hero's type procession with Terry. After the duel, and after his death, I can't find anything else on him on the, on the internet. Which is kind of strange. A little closer. This is probably... Probably where a lot of them were standing. Right here in the middle. Where you can see both actions. But 10 yards. That is really close. That is really close. How creepy is that? And actually, I just realized, or I just reread that they both started in the middle. They started in the middle. They walked 10 paces. Broderick walked 10 paces that way. Terry walked 10 paces that way. And then when they got to the 10 paces, Broderick was a slower one to turn around. Terry shot him while his back was still face the other direction. That's kind of kind of a terrible way to, to win. Because isn't there a saying you don't shoot till you see the white of their eyes? Terry shot him in the back. You shot him in the back, Terry. What's wrong with you? Now the sad part about this whole story between these two is these two are really good friends. Whenever David Terry needed something, David Broderick came to help him out. Whenever David Terry needed help with anything political, personal, David Broderick came and helped him out. Now what brought him to this whole conclusion of having to settle things old-fashioned way in a duel only became what it was because of their beliefs and what they both didn't believe in. Sad but still exists today in modern America. We'll be good friends with someone for one minute. They do one thing, borrow some money, don't pay you back, something. Friendship is over. But we don't duel anymore. At least legally, you don't duel anymore. You settle things by deleting them on Facebook, deleting their phone number, don't not talk to them anymore, ignore them. But these two guys, they decided to settle it the old-fashioned way, in a duel. And again, one lost his life. Right behind the fence line over there is the Lake Merced Golf Course. I wonder how many people actually play golf, or they, I know there's a lot of people that play golf, but how many of them actually knows that this site is right here? And again, you hear stories probably from people that live up in here saying that they hear gunshots, saying that they hear a cry, a moan. Could be coming from this side over here. I don't know why Terry on this side would be moaning or crying unless he felt really bad that he just killed one of his friends, his longtime buddy. Whoa, look at that. Check that out. A bird just happened to sit on the top of stone of Broderick. That's definitely a sign for me to say 
it's time to go. All right, guys. People have been asking, do you ever go outside of San Francisco? Today I did. To visit these two right here. These two sites right here. Share with you guys a piece of San Francisco history and a piece of Daly City history I think everyone should know. Right here, not that far, again, right behind me on this side, the Presidio Golf Course, you have the Westlake Gym, that direction. Not that far from where people are playing basketball, people are taking their kids to the swings, people are going down the street to eat Wingstop, not that far. You got these two sites right here. These two sites. Research, study, in case people are wondering, Where'd you get that from? I'm hearing noises behind me. So I'm looking around. Freaking out. Research and study. That's what I'm doing. That's what I, that's what I do. I, I dig deep into the internet. I dig deep into the books. I, I reach out and I look for things that I can get to. And this, this right here, this to me is probably my favorite one right now because this... Besides the Sutro Baths, besides the Mount Davidsons, besides the stairs, this had a history, a rich history, that affected two people's lives. Two people. Broderick, Terry, affected both their lives. And just imagine what it will come if none of them, if none of this happened, if they both decided, we're not gonna do this, Let's settle this with a handshake. Let's settle this with a handshake. Just imagine, just imagine. 157 years ago today, this was a site. Not today. September 13th will be 157, 58 years. But 157 years ago, this area was a site of the last thing, or the last area that David Terry saw. How sad is that? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna find out where he's buried because I just feel like now that I visited the site, he was buried in Lone Mountain in San Francisco and I know they moved a lot of their graves. I'm still hearing voices behind me and it's coming, it's coming from these two stones. That's creepy. When I watch this in post, I'm gonna actually see if I hear voices in it, because I'm hearing voices right, standing right behind me right now, or now I'm looking at it because I'm hearing voices. But I'm hearing voices. It's okay. I'm just a little freaked out. Maybe it's people playing golf on the other side. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm just imagining things. But I'm gonna do my research, find out where Broderick is buried, find out if they moved him over here to Coma, and find out there where he's at, pay my respects, because I came out here to show the last sight that he saw 157 years ago. I think that's cool. Touching and cool at the same time. It is. Guys, this video deserves a thumbs up. Because I came out here, I showed you guys a piece of San Francisco Daily City history. I showed you guys something that you definitely did not know was here. I guarantee you didn't know it was here. But this was fun. This was something cool. Something cool. And I enjoy doing this because this is a little more meaningful. This is a little more touching. And this has some rich San Francisco history along with Daily City History as well. I'm happy I did it. Thumbs up for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. You guys want to find out where this area is, I'm going to try to leave a Google map or a pin longitude and latitude area down below. Try to leave all that down below. Leave also the Wikipedia history of how these two became what they did. I'll leave all that down below. All right, guys. This weekend has been fun. I'm not going to do any more of those vlogs where I'm just walking and talking. Unless I have to. I'll try not to. I didn't really like it. 
Randall Museum was fun yesterday. I'm at the site of the Broderick Terry duel right here. Daily City, California. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. Ready, aim, fire.